Derek Panamski here with Greg Stadrawa, the offensive coordinator, offensive line coach of the number one ranked LSU Tigers. Does that sound good, Coach? Well, I tell you, it does have a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I mean, it, it does. Eight weeks into the season, 8-0 uh, thus far. Going to enjoy this bye week before you guys get ready for your next opponent. Coming into this season, you know, you, you guys had, had uh, plans to have Coach Craig Thorpe as the offensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. You were going to handle uh, the, uh, the, the offensive line. Yep. Things got you know, changed up a little bit since then. You've come in. You guys are still working in the same assignments that you have, but give me a little insight. Eight games in, you guys have been super productive, putting points on the board. What's it been like working with this staff? Uh, you know, obviously you're, you're being productive in the points, and yep. that's really what's been the difference between this offense and last year. No question, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, the things that we talked about uh, before the season, even in the springtime, when Coach Craig Thorpe got here, the same things we're focused on now. And uh, it's a blessing to be in a room with those guys. Not only not only Coach Craig Thorpe and the job he's done, everybody can see what he's done with those quarterbacks. And I mean fundamentally, I mean with their reads, with everything they're doing, he's done a wonderful job. But to have Steve Ensminger in that room with me uh, in the run game and the things and handling the line down in the field, that's been a major plus. You know, having Billy Gonzalez and in, in helping in the pass game and coaching those wideouts. Our wideouts, not only are they catching balls, not only are they making, look at the, the number of big plays we've made in the past game uh, from this year to last year, but look at the same thing in the blocking on the perimeter. That has a lot to do with the run game. Those guys are blocking. And then Frank Wilson with the running backs, you know. We lose Ridley as an underclassman to the NFL. He's playing for the Patriots every game. You get young guys in there, Spencer Ware. Okay, we lose him for a game. Jarvis, or excuse me, not Jarvis, uh, uh, the young kids that step up in there. You got Blue, you've got Michael Ford, you've got Kenny Hilliard. Those guys come in and we don't miss a beat. So the coaches in that room and, and, and their knowledge of the game and their knowledge of their players and their position is outstanding. Now, you mentioned the, 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 the players that you guys have relied upon. Look, you're multiple at every position, including quarterback. Mm -hmm. ha, what's it been like with, since Jordan's come back? Since, since he's come back, you've played four games. You've won by 28, 30, 31, and 35. Is it, is, has this become a situation where you guys are more comfortable knowing that you have both of these guys that you can utilize? Or has it been something where you have to kind of focus on two separate packages and almost have to coordinate two separate offenses? Well, it's a little bit of both. And, and you know, I think what we do is always going to change. And both quarterbacks are going to be able to do what we do in a base offense. And you know what that is. Everybody does. That's a physical run game. It's play the top guy down, right? That's exactly right. From Coach Miles down, we always start that. And that's where we're going to be a physical football team. Uh, we're going to be physical up front. We're going to be physical blocking at the tight end position, the fullback position, the running back, you know, everybody. And so that, and both kids can handle that package. And then they both have separate from there in, in, in different things that they do good. Jordan brings a difference where you have a running quarterback now. Who can throw? So, you know, as where people go into the Wildcat and a defense says, okay, well, this guy's not throwing it. It's the Wildcat. Here comes some runs. We can do that Wildcat package with the ability, as you saw, to throw it deep and throw a 50-yard touchdown pass to Ruben, like happened Saturday. So that gives us multiple dimensions. And like you said, it's hard to prepare. Just talking to people that we've played and doing some, some, some research there, it's hard to prepare for both those things. Now, this week, you guys have a bye. Uh, uh, certainly that, that either means one of two things. Either you're going to be sitting in the Barca Lounge or Miss Cindy's going to be uh, giving you some snacks while you watch Gunsmoke, <laughs> or you're going to be hitting the recruiting trail. What's the advantage of having this buy right now? Certainly when you go out on the recruiting trail, mm -hmm. you've got the best program in the country to sell. What's it like when you walk in and go talk with guys as the coordinator of the top-ranked team? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, obviously, like you said, LSU is a special place anyway. All this does is put icing on the cake. And when you walk in there, you automatically have those kids' attention. You automatically have their respect. They automatically have seen you play six or seven times on TV. Um, they want to play on TV. They see the kind of football we're playing. It's fun football. Our kids are having fun. The excitement, all those things that are going on in our program. So when you walk in that room and you walk in there and say, here, here's where I'm from, those kids want to talk to you. They want to go right now, hey, listen, I want to be a part of something like that. So those things are unbelievable. And that's what's exciting about doing that stuff. We, is there a point in time where you – you guys, you know, even though you're understanding that you have the recruiting week to, to, to focus on this, when do you guys start, you know, working on Alabama? Or has it already – I mean, it's, it's Sunday night here. Has it already started? It's already started. We got done, the, you know, the thing that Coach Miles wanted to do in the plan. We had the uh, – usually we watch our game film with the players on Monday. Uh, we brought the kids in today. We put that game to bed rest, uh, you know, the game from last night. We put that to rest, and we moved on to Alabama. And now we're going to take a couple of days this week, Monday and Friday, to do a little recruiting to get out and, and like you said, get on, get on some of those top guys, get on some of the top young guys. And we'll take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a little bit Saturday and prepare the kids 
for the Alabama game. And, and you know, it's good. you get a jump on that. But the other thing is you get to heal up some guys that are banged up. You know, eight games in the season, it's tough. You got some bangs, some nicks and bruises, and it'll give us some time to clean those guys up and get a jump start in that game plan, which we've already done today. Hey, when you talk about getting some guys back healthy, P.J. Lonergan was out last week. You've had basically just every, about every one of your starters has missed time right. this year because of, 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 of injury. What's it been like knowing that you have the quality depth there when you have a little health problem? It's been incredible. I mean, like you said, we haven't skipped a beat. There's games that, that, that Greg Shaw has gone in and Matt Branch has gone in. T-Bob has moved from guard to center. Lyle Collins has gone in. Uh, so when those guys jump in there and have to play a whole game, a half, three quarters, whatever it's been, you haven't noticed a difference. And that's the true test. You can talk about depth and say those things, but when they go in a big game, like all the games we played this year about have been big games, and those kids have played or started or played three quarters, whatever it's been, and you haven't missed a beat on offense, you realize, wow, you know what, I got some depth of these guys, some kids that are willing to sacrifice going there, and the offense, I don't have to change things. You don't have to worry about protection. Okay, he's on this guy or running the ball. It all stays the same, and that's a, a, a de testament to those kids and how they prepare and how they play. Well, obviously, you're going to enjoy this week here, getting your guys back healthy. Uh, number one versus number two, first time it's ever happened in the SEC. You guys are going to get to be a part of that, Bryant-Denny Stadium. Uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to it. I'll tell you right now, we'll show up and have some fun. I guarantee you, it'll be fun. Well, Coach, congratulations on a great start. Uh, enjoy the week. Good luck to you. We'll see you down the line. Thank you. Appreciate it, Derek.